Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, lots of chatter about Megan and the VP of Columbia. Uh, if you aren't on Twitter, there's all kinds of things. You've seen a few little things. People are like, did she, didn't she? Reddit is asking, did she, didn't she? So I'm asking the romantic tarot, did Megan bonk the Colombian VP's husband? They were awfully close. There's some really interesting photos of them giving googly eyes to each other and uh, kind of that come hither. And so I want to ask the cards. What did I just see there? I thought I saw one flip up. The romantic tarot. Did Megan bonk the VP of Columbia's husband? Did Megan bonk that guy? Did Megan bonk her hostess husband. That's per normal, right? <laughs> She's like, isn't that what you're supposed to do? <laughs> That's how I was trained. Sorry. I'm a classically trained uh, to bonk your husband. <laughs> Did Megan do the nasty, <laughs> do the dirty <laughs> with the VP of Columbia's husband? Let's just get this out on the table once and for all. The romantic tarot is on the table, gets to do the job. All right. Wow. Five of swords in reverse. That's a lose-lose. So kind of a bully situation too. Did she bully him into it with her vaginator? Wow, six of swords upright. Now, this is um, Miss Mark. This should be the six of wands upright. And this is victory. So, yeah, you want a little bit of that pooting? I think so. The world in reverse. The world can see it. The world can see it. Oh, my Lord. Eight of Wands. <laughs> look at that. Look at the harlot. And look at opening up the curtain for other people to notice, for other people to see. Look at the hands tied up. Look at the harlot right there. Ooh la la. They aren't finished. They may be still texting each other. Still, you know, sending pictures that you wouldn't want to show your children. Wow, death. There she is, the weeping willow. Did she um, maybe, you know, oh, my husband doesn't pay attention to me. His todger is frozen. You're not going to believe it. Trapped. Yeah, I think she had victory. I think she, look at the, I mean, how can you argue with that symbology? And look at with peeking the curtain open. And then, you know, when they're out in public, she's, you know, rubbing his back and giving him hugs. And it's quite almost soft porn. And the wife just about nailed her one. And Harry was the one who stepped in the middle. Ah, she was looking for money. Ace of cups in reverse. Lots of tears. Wow. She was looking for money. There we go, five of pentacles, upright, on top of the world. Yeah, she was looking for money. We're broke, we're kicked out of the royal family. My husband hates me. This is hers, a weeping widow. Nobody likes me. Oh, you want me to position my legs in a certain way? Oh, there we are, eight of pentacles. She worked it, baby. She worked it. Look at that. She, uh, look at on top of this is, I'm come on. How can two cards show a couple having fun? It's just work. It's just work. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. King of Wands. There's old hapless Harry just sitting back watching it, being cuckold. Oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> the Ten of Wands. Wow. Look at a couple card again. Big burdens. Interesting. The couple cards are all on this side and here in the middle. I think they really had a good time with each other. 
So also five of pentacles, this is on the outside. So this is extracurricular on the outside of what the trip was supposed to be. There's Harry. Uh, I'll leave a light on for you, honey. Now I did that reading and that they weren't even sleeping together there. They were all alone uh, or in different rooms. So this is quite plausible. This 10 of wands is, it, this is Harry having, he's a big burden. This is a big burden to him. Everywhere he goes, his wife has to screw the hostess's husband. Six of cups. Of, yeah, this is history. This is history unfolding. This has been going on for a long time. Uh, this is trust. This might even been uh, kind of prearranged. Uh, this, you know, um, but this is this has been going on for a long time. There might be three instances where this has happened that um, she has uh, taken advantage of the husband in the situation. I wonder if Harry's her pimp. Oh, better edit that out. Ah, Ace of Wands in reverse. Well, we all know what the Ace of Wands is. It, and look at that. It has the garter belt on it. The Ace of Wands is the phallic symbol. And here it is in reverse. Five of Wands upright. And look at that. I, I think Harry has a hard time with her. That wasn't a pun. I think Harry has a difficult time uh, with her. I don't think I don't think they're having any kind of sexual relations at all. Seven of Wands in reverse. What she did was indefensible look at all the wands and she is a wand so look at this this passion here so the phallic symbol if it's in reverse doesn't necessarily mean that it wouldn't work it could mean you're putting it in places that it shouldn't be um and also that's uh you know sex without love because you aren't creating you know anything um i think there was there's a what what was what happened was indefensible what happened with this couple was indefensible. So you think here's her and Harry coming off the train and here's the fellow can't wait to see Megan. And there's Harry holding her purse, walking behind her. This is unreal. Two of pentacles in reverse. There might've been some kind of bargain or some kind of exchange of money. Um, Again, I read the cards and they were, they didn't leave with what they, they came for. Oh, the Empress in reverse and the Two of Swords upright. Um, I think this wasn't pr as prolific as she thought it would be. I'm thinking that she was thinking he was going to, you know, at madly fall for her positioning of her legs and maybe find a way to to give them some money or things that they wanted and that was blocked here and look at this two of swords goes right through the heart so that's a big no card that's also stubborn that's um also two people keeping secrets and neither one of them exposing the secret but harry knows and i'm pretty sure the wife knows because just the way that uh it got pretty frosty after that and um you know, but that's the thing in politics. Like you think of all the males that have been in politics that have been accused of having extracurricular activities or their wives have. I mean, what's the difference? I mean, it'd be quite, quite bold and sexism to say, you know, what's that husband doing having extracurricular activities while, you know, his wife is working so hard. So, I mean, I think it's once you get to a certain upper echelon, it's almost a given that this is going to happen in uh, a, in a couple. Just the temptations, the uh, bonus effects from it. Um, I, I'm I'm thinking here, they did. I'm calling it they did, but it didn't give the benefits that Megan thought that she would get with this empress in, in reverse here. Also, this shows us there's going to be gossip about this. So, and what she did was indefensible. Um, I think it was supposed to be for some kind of exchange of money or goods or something with the two of pentacles here. Um, but it's, they may have, um, 
double crossed each other too. That's a double cross. They may have double crossed each other too. But yeah, this was, uh, she, she went in there knowing exactly what she was going to do with the death card here and the weeping widow. I think, um, she may have like announced, even though that's the death card, I, I'm looking at the symbology of it because these symbols here are actually speaking louder to me than what the actual uh, traditional keywords are. And she could have said, oh, no, we're I'm single. We're just married in name only. Uh, and these cards actually really show that, too. With This one is the most telling. Harry walking behind, holding the purse. That almost even looks like Harry. And there she is jumping into the arms of another man while he's watching and sitting at the kitty's table eating God knows what. All right. Well, that was short and sweet to the point. I don't know. What do you think? Am I reading too much into it or did you see the same things I saw? Thank you very much for watching and uh, be prepared. The next issue of the magazine is coming out September 1st. That's right around the corner. And it's all about change because we're changing seasons. And so it's all about change and other things that you can change in your life gently and easily, just as easily as the, as Mother Nature shows us how easy it is to change seasons step by step. And before you know it, you're there. All right. Please take good care. See you online. Bye for now. <laughs>